once you get out there, like you kind of just forget about it all. You kind of just live in the moment of like, okay, here's a list of things I need to get done right now. Nothing else matters. Like, let me start chipping away at this. And you kind of forget about the conditions. You forget about, you know, this beautiful backdrop. All you focus on is that list and like objectives that you have. was the hardest thing I've ever done. Like starting off with that handstand mile, like my shoulders were trashed. I couldn't feel them, they were numb. I was like walking 10 feet at a time. It took forever just to finish that alone. Typically like handstand walks, I'm very proficient at them. I can walk pretty much whatever distance unbroken, but like I was moving five and 10 feet. Like sometimes I'd fall right down as soon as I kicked up. first part that I didn't expect was my wrist. I woke up the next day and my wrists were so inflamed from all those repetitive burpees, all that handstand walking. I've never felt them throb before like, like that. Normally wrist like flexion, we can bring our hands up like this. I think the day after I couldn't move my wrist past this point. All those firemen carries she was the person I was carrying the entire way and that was actually a great refreshing break for the entire marathon itself because having her on my shoulders as we're just running across her she was involved in three of those miles so we were just joking and ripping with each other the entire time That's all it really comes down to. This is what's fun for me, and hopefully it sparks an interest of someone to find what they find is fun. I've been getting a bunch of new messages from people saying, I love what you're doing, I love what you represent. Like this pushed me to do this for a mile and this for a mile. And it may not be on my level of fitness, but that's totally fine. As long as they're moving, that's the whole goal of this. <laughs>